Hello, I am Damien the Jewelry Rockstar. In this video I will be showing the steps taking us from the finished 3D design to the 3D printed piece. This Venetian mask is one of my creations, a high jewelry design I made using a software called 3Design CAD, a highly specialized jewelry design software. If you haven't seen the designing sessions, go check them out to be amazed. Today I will use a free speech generator to do the voice for me, because I can and it is a lot of fun. Ha ha ha, I am having a blast already. Okay, so after completing your design, you generally export it in STL or OBJ file format. Now remember that your file must be checked by an STL doctor. Here I am using Netfab, opening the file, you can see a big warning telling us that the mesh need repairing before printing. Sometimes there is nothing to repair, and no warning shows up, but if you do 3D printing on a regular basis, you will very soon see that repairing meshes can become a job on its own. But don't worry too much either. In many good cases like this one, I just perform a default repair and the Venetian mask comes out ready. Then obviously don't forget to save your file again. Now take a deep breath, and keep enjoying such this natural voice of mine, ha ha ha. Sadly it is time to stop laughing already, as now comes the time to import your repaired STL to your printer software to make the layout of your designs. Well yes because generally you would fill up the printing space as much as possible, even if well today. I am printing only two Venetian masks. Right, so first I import the STL, put it in place, rotate and scale it if necessary. I place the mask not in the center and also in places different from my last print to avoid overstressing always the same spots on my printer LCD screen. Don't forget to save your project. Now the second step and one of the most important, generating the supports automatically and by hand. The combined technique is definitely the best, don't trust me, trust years of experience from a professional, Damien started manufacturing jewels 20 years ago. Now modern printers usually come with a good in all software to help you achieve the perfect set of supports. Knowing where and why add supports, here and there, mainly come from thinking logical and practicing printing all kind of difficulty levels of prints. Yes indeed, some designs are much harder to print than others. Okay. So now as you can see on screen, my little fingers are giving the settings, mainly thickness and tip size, density and height, then I will give it a go to automatic generation. The problem about automatic generation of supports and especially for a design with many details like this gorgeous Venetian mask, is that no matter the settings, too many supports are going to rise in places you don't want. That is exactly why I then proceed to placing the supports handpicked. And that is also why many businesses have 3D printing technicians doing this all day long. Some printers use different compounds that can later be dissolved and avoid the painful process of cutting the supports, which sometimes leads to harming the design, by clumsiness or sometimes just because it happens. But generally those printers and compounds are more expensive, even though it is worth considering the inversion for quality. Now that the pain in the arch lock of placing the supports is done, come the happy time of slicing. Now it is very important to mention that the settings for the slices, layers, initial exposition, exposure time, rising height, motor speed, bottom exposure layer and all these settings are specific to each resin and printer. Some printers have millions of settings, but generally good printers make finding those settings easier. Now don't be lazy and read your user's manual, that a boy, or that a girl, the point is, read the user's manual. The most beautiful of the slicing process is to check the slices with the sidebar gizmo, up and down, up and down, I am not getting tired of this, you surely are, but I am an AI, and this is as good as it gets, up and down, up and down, ha ha ha, I am having so much fun, so do you. One more time? This was a Daft Punk reference for all you fans and geeks out there. Now to the 3D printer. We are going to use a gray standard resin. Don't forget to shake it off. Yes this was a Taylor Swift reference. I am having a lot of fun. Then pour the resin in the tank. And don't forget to remove the printer's cover first. Then plug your USB. And don't forget to open your USB first. Please laugh at my jokes with good heart. Sir Alexa and Bixby don't make better jokes than me. Sir yes sir. Then just copy the file from the slicer to the printer. And don't forget to hit start. The print time will be shown on screen. Now you can freely go do the boring things that you always do. Knowing that in a few hours you might find that nothing stick to the print base. You will learn the hard way, don't worry, 
cleaning the printer is a bliss, hear my obvious sarcasm. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. And also very important, do all that wearing gloves, a high-tech mask and protective lenses, resin is toxic just like your ex. But cheer up, 3D printing won't deceive you like your ex, note, this is no biographical material. Now after a couple of hours, the magic comes to life. These two Venetian masks came out perfectly printed out. Yippee ki yeah yippee ki yeah. So now Damien is going to proceed to dismounting the printing platform to show you these beautiful prints. So we can all go and say together wow 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 what a wonderful world. Wow 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 what a wonderful world. Wow 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 what a wonderful world. One more time, one more time, one more time. Wow 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 what a wonderful world. Okay cheerful people, back to work. After taking the print platform out, it is time to remove the prints from the base. For that, Damien will gently use a spatula. I say gently because I know for sure he did it gently. You will understand when you will do it by yourself that removing the prints from the base is a small endeavor, and you might very easily break your prints a few times. I will be the one laughing then. Thank me later for warning you gently. Okay I guess we understood. It seems all simple and easy, but try it in real life for yourself, and you will see, 3D printing is a full-time professional job where many things can go wrong. So, after all this emotion, we now proceed to washing the prints with alcohol. Please don't drink alcohol it is bad for your health, and after that, the prints will be washed with soap and water. Note, process of cleaning with soap and water is not shown in video. Great, after this very high-tech cleaning process, obviously I say this joking, there are machines available to make the cleaning process in a more modern fashion, but honestly these machines are not fit for what I do. Okay so after the cleaning, comes the supports removing. Like I said earlier, there are different types of printers and resins developed to make that supports removing step in existent, but many resin printers using cheaper compounds do need a neat amount of supports to get amazing 3D prints. So the support removing step will have to become one of your favorite occupations. Then, comes, one of the most funny, boring, dangerous, precise, yes all these mixed emotions, the process of removing the supports. You can choose to do it like a savage, a barbarian, or maybe you can choose to do it with a bit more care. There are many tools and ways to succeed in this process, but like I say almost every time, if you are already a trained jeweler you will already have all the skills and tools to complete this task in a pleasing and successful manner. Now it is time to watch Damien at the jewelry bench for a moment, performing this crazy and insane ritual of supports removing. Any mistake could be catastrophical, the end of the world maybe not, but a damaged print, even if it is possible to repair, a damaged print is something you will want to avoid at all costs. You will sweat during this process, believe me. And this is exactly an example where people who just pretend to design jewels will painfully start to understand that, designing jewels might be very pretty and glamour, but the reality of jewelry making is in reality one of the most wonderful craftsmanship, and therefore one of the hardest. That is why being a jeweler is a lot of very hard training and discipline, talent and ability, a world where liars and poses never lasted long and never will, thanks to God. Alright, we are getting to the end of this video. I won't ask you to subscribe or to become a member of the Jewelry Rockstars channel, this is Damien's job, but he will very surely appreciate your support. It was a bliss for me to take you on this small journey from the 3D design jewel to the 3D printed piece. Even if I am an artificial voice over, you very surely recognize the wit of my designer. Thanks Damien, and like he would say, be nice to people. Be nice to animals, be nice to the planet and see you soon.